Do you ever just feel like you're in an apocalypse? Because <laughs> same. <laughs> no sheepy boys to make friends with today. Yeah, that's right. Making friends with sheep. All the farmyard animals. No humans. <laughs> Very blessed to live here. What the hell? In case you were wondering, this is what's keeping me sane at the moment. <laughs> but you haven't seen the best bit yet. I think it's down there. Oh no, a bug just hit me in the face. <sighs> this is why I don't go outside. <laughs> Okay, so I'm outside in nature, which is like one of my favorite things at the moment because we're all indoors, um, which can get a lot and your brains feel a little bit like mush. My brain certainly feels like mush at the moment. Um, that's why I've written notes for today, even though it's just gonna be me having a bit of a brain dump, if you like, but yeah. Um, so here we are in like a really weird situation that not just some of us are in, the entire world is in. And it's like the first time that this has ever happened to like any of us. I don't think any of us expected anything like this to happen to us in our lifetimes. Um, yeah, and for me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, it has kind of KO'd me, especially mentally. I feel as though my anxiety is at, it's at an all time high. I've been waking up anxious um, and not just mentally anxious, like it's physical. Like I've been waking up feeling very panicked, kind of sick as well. Um, and don't get me started on my dreams. I'm a very vivid dreamer anyway. I can remember my film, my films, <laughs> exactly. I can remember my dreams like films. And at the moment, I feel as though they're a lot worse because there's only so much thinking that you can do in a day that it's kind of happening in your sleep as well. And I'm dreaming of really silly things at the moment, like just hugging people or going to, I dreamt of going to um, a theatre show with someone and I woke up feeling really happy about it because <laughs> I can't do that at the moment but it's almost like I'm escaping into dream world where I can see people, I can touch people, you know. Um, so I don't hate dreaming at the moment but some of them are a little intense I must say because the anxiety slips into them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. My brain's in all sorts of places. I feel as though I'm annoyed. I feel as though there's stages of this. There's like, you got your denial, which we all had at the beginning, uh, acceptance and all that kind of thing, and the d sad part. But um, no, I'm annoyed. My life felt like it was coming together before this happened. I signed up to a gym. <laughs> I got a gym membership after 15 years of being completely lazy. I was like, right, now's the time to sign up to a gym. Um, <laughs> two, and a personal trainer. I was like, yes, this is my year. Um, cue everyone f yeeting their 2020 planners into the abyss, because we don't need them anymore. But um, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is the year of self-improvement. I had two sessions, I was really getting into it. Life felt good. Um, Life just seemed to start being on my side just as this came to a head. And I was just like, great. Now everything's got a pause. Um, <laughs> I know it's the same for everybody, but you know, that doesn't invalidate what you are feeling personally. And I've definitely been struggling. Um, I've not been showing it online that much because this channel, and this is why this is gonna be the only video on my channel that talks about it really. Um, my channel, I want to be an escape for everybody and somewhere where you can come for that bit of magic. Um, somewhere to just get out of your head. <laughs> um, sorry, I, I laugh because like, not like drunk, <laughs> um, which I definitely didn't do last weekend. Um, 
I did. I had a really bad hangover, actually. I had a four hour FaceTime with my friend, Rach. Um, there's a positive thing to come out of this. Uh, I've had a friend for years, maybe like eight years, she's called Rachel, and I see her every year at like events and stuff. But since being isolated at home, um, she's become like one of my best friends. I'm talking to her all the time with phoning and everything. It's, it's amazing. Um, like, we're more connected than ever at the moment, and I think it's absolutely nuts. I know we can't physically see one another, but we can video chat, we can FaceTime, and that's really helping and connecting with people, everyone, like family, friends, people that I don't manage to talk to on a regular basis. Um, for me, that's great, and it's, it definitely helps my mind. I know not everyone's like that, um, but it's something that's definitely helping me. I like to talk to people. Um, so yeah, that's been nice. That's been a silver lining that our friendships come out of this weird, weird situation. Um, I know I've already said it's weird, but I'm <laughs> it's so weird. Life has just stopped. <laughs> um, what else have I got on my list? It says that this whole coronavirus situation is like a really shit movie. And it is, I feel like I'm in some sort of post-apocalyptic movie or just a, an apocalypse movie, but it's rubbish. There's no like good plot. We're just sitting in our houses, eating the food that we've got, <laughs> trying not to use that much bug roll. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I did wake up this morning. <laughs> I remember waking up, opening my eyes and like, again? <laughs> really? <laughs> Another day? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's sabotaged a lot of things for everyone. You know, everyone's plans, their normal day to day. I know I'm stating the obvious. It's canceled trips. My Florida trip has been canceled now which I'm relieved about. I'm not one of these people like, oh, I can't go to Florida. Like, I'd rather the world was healthy and safe and doing what they can. So yeah, I, I am relieved. Um, it's something to not stress about. I don't want to be on an airplane right now. Um, it was my birthday yesterday as we're filming this. Might go down as the weirdest birthday I've ever had. It was nice but it was weird because I couldn't see any of my family. Oh, a little butterfly. Oh, it's the little things that are making me happy at the moment. <laughs> Nature. Um, yeah, I, I did a Zoom call with my family. We're all Zooming these days, aren't we? Um, it was nice. My mum, my dad, my auntie, my uncle and my grandma. Yeah, my grandma Zoomed. I was like, how does she know how to do this? It's really weird. Um, but even my grandma's staying connected. She's doing Zoom parties with her church. <laughs> I'm just like, you know what, grandma? Tip my hat to you, because you are one cool lady. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was a strange birthday, but a lot of my friends reached out, which was lovely, um, which made my day. And you guys made it special. You all wished me happy birthday. So thank you for those birthday wishes. You made the strangest birthday kind of sweet and pleasant in the end. I went for a nature walk. In fact, this is, my birthday was when I did my daily exercise and I found this, um, which is beautiful. <laughs> Just on a local walk, like I've never found this before and I've lived where I do for like nearly a year and a half. So there's a silver lining that I'm finding such beauty in nature, which I probably never would have bothered to do before now. Um, there's always silver linings and oh my god, there's a little blue tit in the tree. I'm gonna call you Bill. <laughs> He's just dangling on a twig like, yeah, nature. <laughs> oh, pretty. But yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot that we can all complain about at the moment, but how my eyes are leaking because I'm not used to being outside <laughs> or the sun or the wind or anything. But yeah, as much as we can complain about everything, we can't see our family, we can't see our friends, we can't go out to work, maybe we've got money struggles. Um, I've always tried to live my life as a glass half full kind of gal. And trying to focus on the positive things is something that definitely helps me on a day to day. And I wrote a little gratitude list. Um, it's quite short. 
but there is stuff on it. <laughs> and one of them is technology, muggle technology, uh, <laughs> because it's literally keeping us all connected. And I know that usually there's a bit of a stigma about technology and social media and how it's bad for us and how too much of it like, is really bad for your mental health. Whereas at the moment, I feel like the tables have turned to full 360 and... 180. <laughs> Sorry, a full 180. This is like TikTok ruining me with their songs that are wrong. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's flipped a table and um, it's what's keeping us together. And I think, I think that's a great thing. I think, I don't know, I, I'd feel very lost if I didn't have technology at the moment. And my screen time is just ridiculous. My phone and my laptop and my stuff is just glued to me at all times because that's how I'm kind of keeping my brain active. <laughs> um, friends and family, that is on here. Very grateful that they're all keeping in touch. You guys, that are keeping in touch with me know who you are. Um, and thank you, because genuinely you make my day <laughs> so much brighter at the moment. Um, you know, it's not the same as... Oh no, I'm not meant to get emotional. <laughs> it's not the same as seeing your family in person. Not planned. <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird being kept away from like your family. I think that's the main thing. Like, I visit my mum every like week or two. <laughs> I've not seen her for like, what, six weeks or something. I don't know, I'm gonna see her, but She's also a vulnerable person, so she's got a quarantine for like three months, maybe six months, don't know. Um, so it's gonna be a while. You know, I want to see my friends as well. Like there's things that I want to do, people that I want to see. And I know everyone's like, same girl, <laughs> same. But it is hard. Um, I don't like being vulnerable on camera. I'm normally like, yes, welcome to my magical channel. <laughs> um, but not today. We're feeling some feels by a beautiful river, apparently. But no, it is hard. And I know some of my friends in particular are definitely struggling as well. Um, so yeah, don't feel alone. I know that we're, <laughs> I know some of us are probably lonely at the moment, but you're not alone in the situation. I think that is something that is comforting, knowing that it's not just you. Because I know that there's certain situations in life where it's like, oh, I'm the only person that feels like this. But at the moment, it's like, no, the entire world, humanity feels like this at the moment, which is kind of interesting if you think about it. Um, have I cried my makeup off? Maybe. <laughs> mm, love that for me. Mm, keep it fashion. Um, the other thing on my gratitude list is the nature. Um, I'm very fortunate that I live in a beautiful place and I do not and will not ever take that for granted. Like, I grew up in a city. I've only lived here for a year and a half. So having this on my doorstep, I cannot be more thankful if I tried at the moment. Um, sorry, my face is wet. I'm gonna have to like blot it with my notes. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> mm, love that. Yeah, um, something else which is on here was, um, holy cow, am I gonna appreciate everything a lot more after this and all the things that we just took for granted, like just seeing people, hugging people, touching people, holding hands with people, like, you know, being able to go to a supermarket without thinking about if you're two meters away from someone, or I don't have to think about touching the trolley handles in case I get coronavirus. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm one of these people that didn't like touching public handrails anyway, but it's gonna be a lot worse after this <laughs> for me. Um, but yeah, let's, let's talk about some good things, right? 
let's let's wipe these tears away. Do, I'm gonna wipe them away with a freaking dandelion. Oh, probably gonna give me hay fever, but <laughs> I don't get hay fever. We're good. Mm. See it? Mm. Yeah. I'll keep that. That's, my, that's a happy yellow thing. Uh, so good things. Something that you guys may not know, which is personally, oh, listen to that bird. Well, it stopped now, I made it shy, it's camera shy. Um, my dad started a vlog. <laughs> if you follow me on socials, you might know this already, but a miracle has happened in isolation. My dad, um, and I love my dad very much, but he's always refused to read Harry Potter, which you guys know is a big part of my life. He's always watched my videos, but he's never truly understood them because he's never read Harry Potter because he's refused. I've tried to convince him many times to read Harry Potter. And he's just, he's like, nah, can't read that trash. I'm like, father, <laughs> my feels. Um, but in isolation, he's decided that he's bought all seven Harry Potter books. <laughs> And he's starting his adventure into the wizarding world and he started a blog to document it and oh my god it's giving me life i feel like this is the best thing that my dad's ever done and it's like all my christmases and birthdays combined because he's finally going to understand everything that i'm talking about and hopefully why i love it so much um but his take on it's hilarious. So he's even bought a domain. He's very extra, my dad. Any of my extraness, it comes from him. Um, Finallypotted.com. If you go there, he's kind of posting daily at the moment. No promises, but at the moment he's posting daily. And it's something that I'm personally really looking forward to every day. It's like, oh, dad's probably posted or he's probably read a bit more Potter today. Um, and it's really interesting to be inside um, a 60 something year old man's brain whilst he's learning about wizards and wands and Professor Snape. My dad actually called him Mr. Snape in his blog. I was like, no dad, it's Professor Snape to you. Just saying. <laughs> so that's something that's made me really happy. Um, TikTok is also making me happy. We've already spoke about TikTok in another video, but follow me for all of the great things. Um, something unexpected made me happy over the last few weeks whilst we've been stuck inside the house. This is only my third time out the house in about, for a walk in about a month. Um, but exercise, and I'm not talking about going on a daily walk because I've definitely not been doing that. I've, I've not really been leaving the house much. I think I've been to the supermarket twice. But exercise, because I started the gym before the shit show went down, I decided to carry on and do it from home. I've been working out three times a week. I've gone from not working out at all for 15 years to three times a week. I've lost the stone and I feel really good about myself. Um, there's still a way to go with me. I want to get fit, I want to get toned. I want to not get out of breath running down the stairs or going ice skating or something. Um, but yeah, I feel as though I've been turning to exercise, which is so unlike me. Like, if you know me, you know that, that it's kind of laughable that I'm enjoying exercising at the moment, even though I hate cardio. Whoever made cardio can go to hell. Um, <laughs> they are the devil. Um, but I've pinpointed why I think I've hooked myself on it at a time like this. I think it's because it's the one thing that I control, I can control at the moment. And it makes sense because there's so much at the moment that we can't control. Um, but exercise and what I'm eating and, you know, what I'm doing to my body to help it be not trash. <laughs> um, like knowing that I can control that is a good thing for me. Um, it, it, I don't know, it's, I can't explain it, it's really weird. If you told me a few months ago, girl, you're gonna wanna exercise three days a week, you're gonna wanna do that. You ordered a new yoga mat. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have believed you, I don't think. I would have laughed you out the door. But hey, it's a new lifestyle. Um, I'm on my list, really. That was a roller coaster. 
I don't know if I want. I don't know if I need to say anything else, except I'm enjoying this sun. I sunburnt my nose yesterday. Um, oh no, don't touch your face. Um, it's all right. <laughs> I haven't touched anything. Um, except a dandelion, which I hope no one touched before me. Oh, it's going to float downstream now. No, did it get caught on a rock? I think it might have. Oh, no, there it goes. Bye. That's quite satisfying. This water here is really clear. It smells amazing. There's a person up there. I think he avoided us though. We're good. Thank you for social distancing. <laughs> Does smell nice though. I think for someone that was, I I'm a homebody, I love being trapped indoors <laughs> until now. Um, I think after this, I'm going to want to be outside. I've been fantasizing about day tripping and like road tripping. Um, up and down England to beautiful places like this um, when this is all over and it's safe to do so of course um, which won't be for a while but when it is I want to climb mountains I want to go swim in things that I shouldn't be swimming in like, I really want to have a dip in here it doesn't look very nice at the bottom it kind of looks a bit mossy and seaweedy but the water itself looks and smells kind of nice It's kind of like ASMR, isn't it? Nature's ASMR. I put this in my pocket. Don't want to litter on Mother Nature. I'm appreciating her more than anything at the moment. Ooh, my butt really hurts, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get off this stump. I've kind of set, oh God. Mistakes have been made, got my walking stick. Oh, I really want to paddle, but I'm not going to. It's just nice not being in somewhere that's got four walls. And I'm really sorry if you guys are stuck somewhere where you can't go out, especially if you're in cities. I feel for you, like I genuinely empathize. It makes my heart hurt. Yeah. But, and I will leave on this note, as doom and gloom as everything seems at the moment and as miserable as everything feels and you feel as though when is this going to end it's going to go on for months oh my god yeah it's going to last a while for sure um but this is all temporary and that is something that keeps my self going and i keep kind of thinking about the moment where i can see my family and can see my friends and could touch people <laughs> um, and how good it's gonna be like hugging your friends like I'm not gonna let them go for at least two minutes at a time um, yeah I look forward to that it's it's gonna be good and I'm gonna be so grateful for it and life's gonna feel a lot more special I think when all this is over because we've all collectively gone through it haven't we I'm going to go walk back home now, which isn't too far away. Um, I hope you're all good. Uh, leave comments down below. Let, this is a time to be here for one another. If you are alone, leave a comment down below and hopefully as a collective magical online family, we can all support one another. Um, you guys are so awesome. You know, I've done some live shows recently and you've been really awesome. Um, so thank you. Thank you for being loving. I know that some people can find it difficult to be nice in stressful times, but for the most part, you're all absolute gems. Um, and I'm proud to have you here in my community. So yeah, I'm going to go. I've been waffling for so long. Sorry for crying at you, but hopefully you've enjoyed some outside from your inside. Um, <laughs> sounded weird. But yeah, I'll leave it there and I'll see you soon for some more magic. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I feel
feel like I've just had a therapy session. <laughs> ah. Oh, I really want to get in there. Can't wait to go swimming. Me and this river are going to become good friends. <laughs> oh, not the rock there. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Welcome. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to Nature 101 <laughs> with Cheryl Wallace. No, don't start that again. Okay, no, I'm actually... Let's go now. <laughs> I've got to get back up the hill. Good job I've been exercising. These people, I'm going to social distance. <laughs> <laughs> 